I know better, and right now we are joined by the good folks in Dash. You guys want to go around the circle and introduce yourselves? Hello everyone, I'm Steven Spillers, I play drums. Hello, I'm David, I play bass and sing. I'm Austin, I play guitar and synth. I'm Brian and I play guitar as well. And Connor, our synth player, is not here tonight, but he yeah, plays he's synth. Sick, so. <laughs> Sadly, well, yeah. it's going around. Out yeah, I've been sick for like the past week. I've been like down in Mucinex and night. Oh, <laughs> yeah, week. Austin's yeah. coming down with it. We're yeah, just like, stay healthy so till tomorrow. So. Oh yeah, well, down the quill. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Yeah. Uh, so, David, you were the primary songwriter, is that correct? Uh, yes. Um, I actually wrote the majority of these songs um, my freshman year. I'm, I'm a senior now at, at State. Um, and I actually never really expected to do anything with it, so it's it kind of cool to have just, like, Pierce's intention of songwriting without even, like, you know, any expectation yeah. um, behind it or, you know, knowledge that anyone's going to hear it. So did did the songs, if you've had them here for a couple of years, though, how have they kind of, like, grown and evolved as you take them to the band members, or do you just kind of flesh them out yourself and it's like, this is what we have? Um, yeah, well, with the, they've definitely developed since I have uh, I initially wrote them. Um, but what usually happens, I'll take an idea or just, like, the skeleton of our song and um, bring it to these guys, and um, we'll just build on it and work on it and just polish it up. Um for the most part, yeah, but they, they definitely each have grown since I've initially since I initially wrote it, for right. sure. So you you've been involved in projects before this as well, right? Like the old kind of stuff. Was yeah, that right? it, yeah, it's weird. Like before, I was doing this. Um, I was in a couple like folk bands. One one was like indie rock, and um, I also played in a gospel project out awesome. from Charlotte. And so just everything, but this type of music. But honestly, they've all influenced it. Um, to some extent, um, as far as like the songwriting um, is concerned. Right, so what do you think each person is bringing to the table? Um, oh, shoot. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Steven is a killer drummer. Like, he's, Aww. and he's, we, we play to a you, click. Man. So he, he, just to do, to have a drummer that can play to a click and keep time really well is yeah. been awesome, awesome. And Austin has been really like, really the reason why. Um, my music is being played in public is because of him. He really pushed me to to play out, and he's a, he's the first one that really like started up the band and, and um, kind of pushed me to to start up this music. And uh, Brian is a killer guitarist. He has like <laughs> such an incredible tone, like it's ridiculous. And Connor, um, who isn't here, is an incredible synth player. And dude, um, he's like Beethoven, like reincarnated <laughs> or really something, yeah. dude. <laughs> That mug is crazy. A little. He's <laughs> Would you describe yeah. Beethoven the same way? Like, that mug can play the piano. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> Verbatim. Exactly. Awesome. So, um, you guys have been playing out of Kings quite a bit. Yeah, no, we love Kings. It's a great Yeah, album. I mean, um, initially, when, before um, we played anywhere else, like, well, that's really the only place we played in Raleigh, um, I told the guys, I was like, dude, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to email Kings. Like, I know it's a long shot. But that's like the one place I would want to play of anywhere else. Yeah. Um, and they emailed us back and they're like, "Yeah, we have this date. Can you guys do?" And we're like, "Heck yeah! Like you know, that's awesome." So um, ever since then, they've been really good to us and um, have been book booking us constantly. So you know, we love it there. Yeah, I know we we tried to have you guys at the uh, a hopscotch day party. And yeah. That turned into a bit of a snafu going on. Right yeah. Now. yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah. So, have you guys looked into breaking into other cities here in North Carolina? I know you. Were, we were talking earlier about you guys played in Wilmington before and working on getting some stuff there. Yeah, it's funny. We're actually from Wilmington. Um, we but we haven't played. We've only played one show there, uh, so we really want to go back there soon, and um, we're looking for a good venue to do that. At hopefully, um, hopefully before the year, but probably sometime in January. Right. Awesome. So, are there any particular local bands you guys have your eyes on that you really want to play shows with? Um, yeah, as far as locally here, um, we actually just got out of the studio um, with James Lugo, and he told us about a local band here called the Lollipops. Yeah. And so I've been meaning well. to ask them um, to hopefully get a show um, here because I, I heard their stuff and I love it. You know, and um, he's a great songwriter. Um, I'd love to get a show with Casis Orange 
as well. Oh yeah, it's um, I, I haven't seen her play in shows yeah, that a lot. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, um, it was so fantastic. I know they've got kind of like building the band, and it's like people are going in and out. I know Chris was doing motor skills and stuff. And yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening there, but um, I would love to get a show with them. We've we've traded some emails, but I think yeah, they they're kind of um, um, just like going through some stuff, or I'm not sure. Yeah, but hopefully, yeah, we can get something with them soon. That, yeah, that would be fantastic. That sounds like that would be a stellar lineup for some local bands. Going yeah. On there. Um, but right now we're going to go into Dash's first single that we had here at WKNC, Into the Sound. And um, as you guys are hearing this, you can call in and we will be giving away a pair of tickets for the show tomorrow night at King's Barcade. You guys are going to be playing with Villa Verde and Eagle Down. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it is going to be a stellar show. I am bummed that I can't see it. I have to go back to good old New Bern for family <laughs> festivities. <laughs> But um, I was saying earlier, it's just it always seems like I always have to go out of town on like the best weekends in the tri <laughs> and it's such a bummer. It's like Newburn keeps dragging me back. But um, as I was saying, Dash is about to go on and call in 919-515-2400, and the third listener, the third caller will get a pair of tickets to go see Dash tomorrow night. After that, we are going to play a couple other tunes, and then we'll be coming back with Dash, and we'll be debuting their new single as well later in the hour. So this is Dash into the sounds on WKNC, the local beat. Nice. I was kind of nervous. I don't know why I get so nervous. <laughs> I think it's good now. You can Start. Yeah, but first, we're going to talk a little bit about it. So um, you guys are working on this new single, just about to debut it. Where did you guys record this? Um, we actually recorded it the same place we recorded it in the sounds at a Hemisphere is recording with James Lugo. It's actually funny. I found him on Craigslist. <laughs> which is like the most random thing and like the last place I would have thought I would have found like a, a good studio yeah. but all I saw was SSL <laughs> console and which is like a really popular console in the 80s and a lot of big records were made on them um, and I, we went to go see him and we, we went to a couple other studios in Raleigh as well but we, we found James and like we we knew that was it like we wanted to work with yeah. him um, but yeah no that, it was so much fun we worked with him again and um He's actually from LA, and he you know he has a lot of great contacts, and he's been in the business for a really long time. Um, but we recorded it there, and we actually got it mastered um, in New York at a Sterling Sound Recording Studio, um, and uh, they do a lot of like huge albums, like they did um, like a bunch of like Jay Z stuff and like Beyonce, all right, all right. And Passion Pit, and, like Strokes, like pretty much anyone who's anyone, yeah. um, they get their album mastered there. It was pretty funny. We um we went to uh, Carborough, Chapel Hill, Raleigh, and Wilmington, and me and uh, Josh we like toured pretty much every studio. And I remember going with him, and I like I would kind of judge it based on his reaction because I don't know a whole lot about all the equipment like he does. And we'd walk <coughs> in, and like he'd kind of be like, ah, this is cool, this is cool. And then we walked into James' studio, and he saw the SSL sitting there, and his face was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. And I was like, well, that's where we're getting recorded. This is but, it. James has been really awesome today, so we really appreciate it. You, you sound like kind of sound like a married couple or something, <laughs> like picking out a house or something. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, and it I, is, I'd have done yeah. the same thing probably because I don't know about that stuff. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so what, you, have you guys have you guys been working towards like a full release rather than a single? Yeah, I think. Um, well, like what we've been doing is. Because, like, it, it costs a lot of money to record. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've mainly just been recording singles, but I think we decided after recording this single that we just want to save up and, and either do um, a full, like, a good EP or full length. Um, so hopefully they'll, they'll be done sometime in the beginning of next year. Um, yeah, it's just the funding for that. It's, it's yeah. kind of hard to do that. And but. we have the material for it. Oh, we yeah. We have the music, and so that's the main part. Um, I think we're not in any rush to really perfect it and get it to where we know everything's dialed in and perfect. And um, before we do, spend the money on the full length. Um, but that shouldn't be that shouldn't be too long before we are able to get that together. All right. So you guys have kind of been like writing the cohesive like picture all together rather than just like okay, we're gonna write for this yeah. Is the next we song think right? really yeah, far yeah. in advance. I would say like we brainstorm a lot about just kind of like what's our next steps here and try and be a couple steps ahead, just at least in our minds about where we're going to go. And so. is that like a group effort as well? You guys all kind of just put into that, like, all right, so we're going to focus on this, or is it like 
primary songwriting efforts. It's like, all right, so we should put this out. We should put this out. Um, uh, it's kind of like we all, as long as we all agree on it. Yeah. Um, we definitely, I mean, discuss and talk through. I mean, I guess, <clears throat> I guess, kind of up until this point, Josh has spearheaded a lot of stuff just because he initially wrote everything. But as we start to play more and just um, just the more and practice together and just talk, yeah, we're, it's definitely turned into very much so a group a group yeah. effort. I, I think you know. All right, so let's go through like the writing process for you guys with this. Like, what, what you've been listening to a lot when you're going into it? Do you think what you're listening to affects how you guys are kind of writing these things? And yeah, definitely. It's um, it's weird. This this uh, new single that we're about to listen to. Um, I've, I've, I think I've put at least 60 hours over, like, a good four or five months into it. And there's so many different inspirations. Like, I'm taking a music of the 20th century class right now. Right. And a lot of, like, different composers like Darius Milhaud have, like, influenced a couple things there. And there's, there's like, so many. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of what I listen to has definitely influenced. Um, so some 20th century composers like Darius Milhaud and, like, um, Stravinsky and Stockhausen, yeah. um, but as well as like some contemporary stuff like um, some Passion Pit and um, trying to think of there's this this band called the Royal Concept you should check out. Um, oh, yeah. They've also influenced a lot of this. <coughs> and, um, we we've been messaging them about like what kind of gear they use and as far and like what kind of like production details they do. <coughs> Same with Passion Pit. His uh, vocalist gave us some some tips as far as um, recording vocals, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I think, I think the, what I listen to affects what I write, but I usually go into the writing process knowing what I want. Right. Um, but, and just like draw inspirations from all that. Speaking of stuff like Passion Pit, um, I know like the Obama thing they had out here with the DJ set, like have you guys thought of foraying into kind of like doing a bit of DJ stuff or are you just going to focus mainly on putting this out or like um yeah i never really talked about that yeah that's we never really talked about that at all um yeah this was this is all i think this is always gonna be my primary focus um if i have time which i haven't lately yeah i might do some stuff but um definitely this i think will be my primary focus I don't know, uh, last time we talked with you guys, we were talking a bit about, like, the DAWs and stuff you were mm -hmm. using. Have you worked a little closer towards doing some more analog stuff, or is it still primarily composed with, like, a doll? Yeah, we're, I want to get more um, analog gear. Right now, it's still a lot of doll, but there's a lot of emulators of analog gear that we use. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, no, th that's another, like, budget type thing. Yeah, Because yeah. a lot of the, the vintage synthesizers are, like, twelve hundred dollars and um if that more you know so i would love to get like a a moog synth um i think that would be my first purchase oh, yeah. so yeah. what what kind of stuff do you think you guys would be making if it weren't for like these advancements that we have now with like being able to basically have like an orchestra out out of your computer yeah well it's cool because like before i started writing this style of music i kind of wrote just like acoustic um, stuff and a lot of the songs uh, like we write and like for this like for this single we wrote the ending um, just acoustically like in my room and kind of just like I really feel like, like that's important is like playing it I was I like to play a lot of my songs on acoustic before I like start working on them because that's really like the foundation right. um, and if it sounds good there then you know everything else is just gravy so uh, <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I'm down with that. Yeah. All right, so I guess we are going to get ready and lead into the new single. Yes. You guys want to yeah. give it an introduction? Hello, we are Dash, and uh, you're listening to, uh, to WKNC 881, and this is our new single, Home. 